Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Gators have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's to the 40. He's at midfield, and he's finally shoved out at the 44-yard line. It's a great decision here by the quarterback not to force a throw when there's nothing there. The run turned out to be equally as effective as a pass play anyway. First and 10, let's see if they can build off that great run. taken down around the 47 it's a great play by the defense but it really makes you wonder was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line they just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all here we go Blinding. tries to get out of trouble but he can't shake the defense Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Mike three. Mike three. Set. He chucks it downfield. Doesn't get there. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So the opening drive failed to produce any points. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. Big opening! Makes it out to about the 36. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. It's on the ground. Defense says they've got it, and they do. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field is reversed. reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. Down he goes at the 45-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Brought down right around the 22-yard line.
He fights forward to about the 19. That's good for him. Three yards. That'll make it second to seven. First and goal. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Longhorns. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 74-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. The score now, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Tackle at the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, first down. And he's level at the 41-yard line. chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. First down, Grant. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Set. Wide 80. What? They hand it off. Tackle made at the 45. Second down and seven. Ball on the 45-yard line. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You gotta get those. Short yardage situation. The offense is in the jumbo package. Nice run there. So at the end of one quarter, Texas leads 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Roger, Roger. Zero, zero, Mike three. Ready. Okay for you. Up the middle for a nice game. With the run. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike three. Mike three. Let's go. One in. 
was tackled right away. Number three on the tackle at the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line. First down. Ready! 180! And he hits him hard at the 22-yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. That brings up second and 13. Here's the 12th play of the drive. He's hit and taken down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Mike three. Mike three. He's on the run. They bring him down. That brings us fourth and eleven. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Florida is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Off, brought down quickly. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Texas is up by four. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Under heavy pressure. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. And as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he tackles him hard at the 42. That makes it second and eight. They come out on an empty backfield. He makes his way to about the 48. Bring him down at about the 47 yard line. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll bring up third and long. And this play is number eight on the drive. Texas holds a four-point lead. Gets it off as he's hit. Completes. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line.
inside the 10. He's tackled in the open field. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Longhorns call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the one yard line, it's second down. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 13-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 14-3. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Now he's scrambling. The Gators will use their first time out of the half. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the hole. quickly to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here we go. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. From the 40-yard line, first down. He goes out of bounds at the 34. That brings him second and five. Mike three, combo, combo, combo. He's tackled at about the 29 yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 29. Now he tries to buy some time. He's brought down in the open field. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects him here in this situation. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. From the 16-yard line. First down. Check number six. Check number six. Time to go. Night, night, night. Let's go. Night. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes around the six yard line. Pressured and brought down. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. That's perfect timing between a quarterback and his wide receiver. He recognized the middle of the field was wide open, and I really thought the quarterback kind of looked the safety off to open that play up to the middle and then made the perfect throw for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Florida gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Texas is up four. That's a great tackle at the 15. Loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 14-10, Longhorn. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. We're about set to start things up again. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Texas is up by four. Nice run up the middle. Scrambling around. And he is drilled to 36 yard line. He's at midfield. Gets to around the 42. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike 12, Mike 12. Let's go ahead. Nice run, and he's brought down. Check, check. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Texas holds a four-point lead. Fires quickly. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Go, 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 go. 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Game of 10 yards. First down. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Defense coming, and the ball comes out. And it's scooped up by the running back. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes it 37. made the 42 yard line maybe three yards that time on the pass usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt and this one is a beauty so this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there the quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Nice run there. Throws it in a hurry. And he's level at the 29. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Here's the give. It's about the 37-yard line. With a sack. That's a loss of seven yards. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Quick throw to the tight end. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 31. Mike three, set, check, check. Spire, 
Fighter! They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. That's a game of three on the That'll bring up third and four. the stop around the 47 yard line Game 13 on the play. first down 10 yards to go ball on their own 47 so with one quarter remaining texas leads 21 10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Ready. 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 He's on the run. Excellent open field tackle. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings him second and five. From the 49-yard line, second down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Ready. Green 90. Green 90. A two-yard run by the halfback. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Ready! Green 19! And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it. I'm fourth down. He's scrambling, and he's tackled at the 46. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Slings it out there incomplete. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. And he tackles them hard at the 35. Call it a loss of 11 yards. That'll bring up third and long. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. And he hits him hard at the 27 yard line. That's a loss of eight yards. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Second down and 12. Ball on the 33. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires out quick 
quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down on the 49-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. the sack another sack boy that's just a great job of getting in there again they get this one off and it's a beauty They're so full of energy, it's almost scary. Great job by the defense tonight, getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. Even with all the pass protection issues, they still have the lead. We're about set to start things up again. Just over two minutes in the game. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Watch one, watch one. three. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's tackled at the 44. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. You talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust. You have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Florida has called their final timeout. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 44. He makes his way to about the 28. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. <laughs>